Nobody's gonna like this. Nobody's gonna like this here. But Kobe Mainu, for me, he's a 10. I I want him in that 10 role, you know, guys. And people are not gonna like it. They're gonna like Bruno Fernandez here. Yeah? I'm telling you right now, put ten. Kobe Mainu in that 10 role because he's dying in that midfield. And if, I think, if but I think play, he's dying in the midfield because of the way it's set up. Because you said Bruno signed a new deal. Was Bruno a signed a new contract. Was it L? Oh. In my eyes, obviously, everyone got there. Wait, I say the Bruno disrespects there though, because we actually need Bruno, and everyone. Did, it's funny oh, because cool. you start crying when I saw your video, and it's like, why did you take? Why did you bring up Tommy? It's funny, Bruno, bro. <laughs> Bruno, had to Bruno, off. no, but yes, I'm not Bruno. So no, That's but then, I thought we haven't got quality on the bench. Not no, but every day we do this thing here where we try to say we always try to talk about the problem, and we like we almost get to Bruno saying Bruno's the problem when he's not the problem. Bruno is not the problem. Bruno is not the problem at Man United. Other teams, other players, I watch other teams now play because these hate alongs here. Other teams will lose the ball in 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 a in a highway as well. Like I watch Kevin De Bruyne lose the ball. Obviously, it affects they still win their game. So it doesn't, it, it's not the same level of effect. But I'm saying for us, the problem is that I feel that we just there's this disrespect we have for players that actually can produce. And then it's, it doesn't go around properly. Then we then we set a player up. We you just said put Kobe in the ten. Kobe yeah. can't play in the damn ten. No, we, no, but you know what it is. Trying to replace <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> why did you, wait, 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 wait. Why did you keep that in for so long? He what? said, <laughs> like when he said, like I want to see Kobe in the ten. Me, but then yeah, he, no, I, 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 you I, know why? Because I, control. I, I'm sorry. Did he, he, he raised his finger? I, I he raised his I finger. Said, oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Yeah, yes. That don't make no sense. Like, I want right Kobe now, Kobe, up, want Kobe Kobe is the, no, but yes. we're gonna do that thing where we just you see how everyone got excited about Bellingham when he came on the scene and was like, Where does he play? Where does he play? And then they we we forced him into the 10, and everyone in England got mad and said he's not world class anymore and he's a fraud, this, that, and the other. Let this guy develop. He's a midfielder. I don't even want to define his position. This kid is how old is he? He's so he's, young. He's if he, good. That's why he's, he's, good. Good. he's good. I'm saying, why are we trying to now define exactly what he I'm is? I'm saying define it. Okay, the, age. Cool. The, the, the 10 role, okay. The idea, I don't believe in the idea of a 10 at my United anyway. So forget the 10 role. I just think for me, Bruno, for, sorry, Kobe Mainu, I'd rather see him up the pitch because then for me, he can have more control than Bruno. I believe Kobe Mainu in that 10 role, the way he moves around, operates in them tight spaces, I think we'd have more control of the ball. I'm all I about just, control me. He wants, to be, he wants to be like a pitch. We want to be for my United. No, because if we said that we've the, we bought this guy and he's seen him as a kind of Frankish type player that can control the rhythm in the game. He's in the perfect position in eight. The only problem is Man United are playing mad football at the moment, and the protection that he does have behind him in Casemiro, he his legs can't do what he used to do anymore. Oh, let me not take up too much time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alice, what are you, Alice, what what are you saying, saying on that one? Yeah. Come on, Sterling, where did this come from? Right. Bruno, like, what, what's oh, yeah. going on here? Like? <laughs> you did it. You did <laughs> no, but I said that as a passing comment. I said that as a passing comment. I didn't say yeah, that as a... Straight, yeah, that's what KG yeah, points. Yeah, straight, straight to Bruno. A straight to Bruno for no reason. No, I, I, straight I, I, to the captain. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it and wait my turn. No, because I think one what, what we do with these players yeah, is yeah, yeah. we get into this, we get into this little thing with players and we start one minute we love them, and then after we just do everyone's been trying to replace Bruno since the new players come in. They said Ericsson was gonna replace Bruno. They said, I remember the white wet course in the 10 will be better on the board than Bruno. I remember um Mason Mount was supposed to replace Bruno. Nobody has done it, guys. All the I people that I have generally been think that it will be better without Bruno Fernandes and Rashford. Oh, Rashford. Alice, go you know what? Alice. You will all no. see it later on. Man United will be better without Bruno Fernandes and Rashford. It might take a bit of pain, but over the years, I'm telling you now, without Bruno and Rashford, we will be better. But it comes down bro. to what I agree with KG. I agree with KG. Bro. I agree with KG. <laughs> people, people go, oh, Bruno's rubbish, Bruno's rubbish. Like the three games we didn't have Bruno last season, we got slapped 4 0 by Palace. We were. Bad. The problem is Bruno yes. is frustrating. Bruno gives the ball away, and sometimes when Bruno's bad, he is bad. But at the end mm. of the day, he's he, he's a quality that we lack in this squad. You got Casemiro behind him who can't run or do nothing. You had Maguire and Lindelof for time. You had Fred and McTominay just behind that for eight. So yeah, but I can flip that and say everything's catered towards him. You know the system, right? And and, and and I'd say everything's catered towards him because he's that good. Mm. Well, that's 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 arguable. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's, you know I mean? it's one of them. He produces, he produces good stats. Don't get me wrong, but I think his stats are inflated because a everything goes through to Bruno. This is the problem with my United. This is what I said. My I United having Bruno that, Fernandez. Bruno, hold on, hold on, Bruno Bruno is shit. My, having my United having Bruno is a net negative for my United because I feel like we play through to Bruno and then everything 
it around us becomes like we can't have a midfield balance. You, you Wait, name me you saying that it's because of Bruno in that midfield. That's why we don't have balance. Just because of Bruno. Genuinely, I, he teaches the bro. He treats the ball like a grenade. Every time I, we I, have I, a position, when, 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 every we time we have a position, this guy is like, let me ping that ball, and then it were back to square one. I, I, think, that's have a, I think that's I think that's bullshit. Control. I, I like my midfielders like Musiala. I like my midfielders to have control, not just to treat the ball like a grenade. You know what I mean? And that's I why I mean, that's he's a, I mean, it depends on your team. I hear stats, you. It depends on your team. When he gets his stats, you can see everything's forced. So when you're doing about vo- the amount of volume he's having, you're about to get these assists because he keeps spamming the ball every single time. Nah, that's it's downplaying honestly, this guys, kid. Nah, that's yeah, downplaying. You know what? I, I see this every single that's day. He's getting the ball that's and nobody says anything because it's like Bruno's a captain. But I generally, every time I'll draft him, yeah, Bruno, play the ball. You're right there. No, you know what? I'm gonna play this long. He loses the ball. We then get on the counter attack, and then next, I, you know, we're under pressure. Occasionally, Bruno Fernandez for me. I'm telling you now, guys. You would. You're not seeing it. He's a net negative for this team. I genuinely mean that. Drop we him. can get rid of them stats here. Hey, drop and be him. a better football team without drop him. Hey, drop him. We'll, we'll struggle stats. again. Drop Some him. Some of them are rubbish. Again. Like we won't create anything. Oh, Comes off us and Brighton. Down, Nothing. Guys. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. But also, I think the team lets down Bruno. Bruno, three out of the last Because he lets us down. That's why. It's ranked okay, first. Casemiro's having like, to do his dog work. Chances is great. Because he got Bruno Fernandes doing all his dog work. But, it's mate, Bruno, Bruno's underperformed his expected assists more than like any other player like the last two seasons. And surely that's because the United players aren't finishing off the chances he creates. Like, Bruno is three of the last four seasons ranks first with like chances created, big chances created, key passes, expected assists. All their metrics, like per 90, ranks higher than like pretty much everyone for like expected assists and stuff. But he, he'll be like 10th in the assist chart last season because the team aren't finishing stuff off. Do you see the goal that Bruno scored against, um, and it was chalked off in uh, against Man City? Oh. Yeah, nobody's yeah. denying that. You can do that. that. Wait, he, nobody's wait, he, that. as in he's a quality player. If he wasn't what, in a Man United strike. kit, wait, wait, hold on. What's my strikes are more like that? Kit, yeah, <laughs> we, if he wasn't in a Man United kit, we'd be creaming. People would be so excited. Nope. There's, a reason, there's a reason why. Bro, there's a reason why there's a bro, bro, hold on a KG. Bro, if you're not KG, did you win the scout report? Did you win the scout report? Hey, say, let, me land. let me land. Let me, me land. Hey, let me land this. Wait, hold on. Can I land? Can I land, Saeed? <laughs> you did you know. this thing, yeah? You got excited about Dortmund form when Sancho scored one goal in 12, bro. That's the oh, way you got excited about. Wait, wait. I just have been excited with him. Carry no, because <laughs> no, it makes sense. Yeah. You got excited yeah. about a guy in the German league, yeah, that hasn't done anything in his shirt, but you loved it because he's not here. What we do, as soon as we see a player, new shirt, and it's not Man United, we all of a sudden love them. We bring in the player, and all of a sudden, they're rubbish. And we do, this is what we do as fans. You're telling me right now that Bruno, if, drop him. Let's do. Let's see what it would look like if we didn't play Bruno. You're no, saying no, he brings our players. It's not quality. It's not quality. It's not quality. quality. We, it's not no, quality. but we, as in Man United, we actually need this guy. We need this player. And Bruno had offers. Everyone, long this, term, I said season, no. this season, Man United, Bruno could have went to other clubs, and he wanted to know if we're serious. And guess what? If we lost him, we were in trouble. Who's who's going to create? Wh- who are you looking for in the midfield? Is it Ericsson to create? Who's going to create for us? Is you know it, is it Mason what? Mount? You don't even like Mason Thank Mount. You. Who's Thank it going to be? <laughs> KG, KG, do, 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 I'm asking the normal question in this squad. Who's creating for you, bro? I mean, right now, I just told you, like, right now in the short term, Man United. Do no, 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 me short term because that means you're still relying on Bruno. You're not saying short Bruno. Term, Man United need Bruno Fernandez. No, don't tell me short term. I want to know. No, I don't want to hear no short term stuff. Who's creating instead of Bruno for you in this? Because he's ruining this. I'm a Diallo can create. You got Amadi in, in that role, so this. Yeah, Amadi's gonna do the Bruno yeah. thing. That's why for me, yeah, the main thing I want to say yeah, is that. That's a joke. Did you, did you, you, you gave me one name. You gave me one name. Report. Do you remember you the scout report? Name. You gave me I one. Got, I got a question. I got a question. You play as a team. I got a got question for this guy. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why are you relying on one player to create? You gave me one name. You wait. Hold on. You told me the team tree. Bernardo Silva. This guy's taking the piss, bro. This guy's a fraud, fam. You I gave me one name, you're here. taking the piss. That's why we're in this problem. One right player's creating. That's hey. the problem. That's Saeed, you're treat. making full statements, bro. One player to create for the team. That's why. Saeed, you're making full statements. You, I asked you, who can create? Let's take Bruno out. Who's your creation in this team? And he said, no, he has to stay here for now. I don't hear he's that already, shit. No, no, no. He's, 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 already, he's already said, copy me on the 10. Listen, you know, what, you know what's mad, yeah? You know what's mad, guys? This is the problem with, with, with Man United is that we are relying on one player to create. That's the problem. Every other team, they have different people to create. Saka, Odegaard, even Dekarai sometimes can play the ball forward in, in them areas. 
When you look at Man United, why are we relying on Bruno Fernandes to create? That's the problem what Ten Hag has done. He's relying on two individuals to be the force of this team. And that is a single issue. When right, you look okay, at no, that's, okay. But that's, yeah, that's I don't, that's not, I, I don't disagree with that. Wasn't Casemiro doing that earlier as well? Come on, what are we doing here? Wasn't, wasn't Casemiro, no, that's, that's fair, Casemiro was doing that earlier on. We Casemiro's there, doing he, that. Green, Sancho can do that if he wants on his team. Well, I, that was my question. Sancho my question was going to be, who would you Sancho rather have in the 10? So, who would you rather have in the 10, side? Would you rather have Bruno or Sancho? Legitimately, if you were the manager, who would you rather have, Bruno or Sancho? You know, for the betterment of the team, yeah, it actually sounds crazy, but I think we'd be a better team. If you had Sancho in that 10, I'd cool. rather have Sancho in that 10. Generally, cool. say that generally Bruno. anyone but Bruno put in that 10, hey, I hey, swear hey, now, I man. Anyone, what, is, what, what, McTominay? McTominay, though. Oh, no, no, yeah. probably not McTominay, yeah. My, my thing is, yeah, do you remember the scout report from Sport in Lisbon? There was a scout report here that said, yo, this guy treats the ball like a grenade. Like he, <laughs> in terms of possession, he's not the best. In the there was a scout report for this Bruno Fernandes not to sign him. And the United went and got ahead and done it. My you thing is here, yeah, cool, go on, go on, cool. Go on, go on. He's getting the assist. Cool. I respect it. Like I don't, I'm not saying that Bruno Fernandes don't create and don't do whatever, but I'm saying for the benefit of the team, I think having Bruno Fernandes there sometimes is a net negative. And okay. us relying on Bruno Fernandes to be our sole creator doesn't help my United in the long run. We but, need yeah. others. When Man City and other teams, they don't rely so on one so, creator. So, so can, we get, I, so can, so we can we get involved in this? I just want to see it. This yeah. is clear though. Like, so remember, this is what Sa this is what Saida said today. Yeah. He said Bruno is like, obviously he treats the ball like a grenade, like yes. the team will play better without Bruno, this, that, and the other. Then we say, Ra, who can be the player instead of Bruno? And he says, no, Bruno has to play for now. I said, okay, where's the other creators? Like, is it Bruno's fault that he's the only creator in the team? Now, when you, then after we said, wait, hold on, then you said, we asked a key question. So who would you play in the 10? And you said, Jaden fucking Sancho. In you know what's you know bad? Your manager, yeah. your manager is sacked by Mason Mount. Is that my fault? He's, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, your wait, manager, wait, wait, your wait. manager. Because I didn't agree with that, yeah. Your manager, is it my fault? Why your is he manager, not yours? Why is he not your manager too? Listen, because I didn't agree with the decision, and I'm and I'm guessing right. Mason Mount, you all agreed blindly and said, Yo, we want Mason Mount. So here's no, my question. Who, who said we want Mason Mount? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let me land, KG. Is it my fault, yeah? This manager decided to spunk 65 million on Mason Mount when we didn't need him. Is it my fault? So when you say about options, he bloody bought Mason Mount. Wait, but who, who's, who's, who's wait, point. no, I'm but we have to be real. I'm a lying, I'm a lying. Be real, yeah? Who was I'm excited about Mason Mount? And, and, and what Man United fan was like, this is the player. I'm going to find a video of you. I know. You want Mason Mount. Me? <laughs> I'm going to find a video. Fucking, there's probably a song somewhere. I love you to find a Mason Mount song. It's all about Rashi. A throne of Mason and Sanchi. He gets, he gets his numbers and he affects the team. And when he's not there... The team shit. How can he say that when you got a man that's afforded all the luxuries in the team? What do you mean? As in, like when we say he doesn't get the maybe you know the the, the kind of maybe praise and whatnot because you know what? Oh, we is. said that about Pogba. We said the I team shit it, around him. It, I think it's and Pogba. that was fine. We was allowed to say that. Why was we? Why was we allowed Pogba to say? Allowed. Why, no, but why was we allowed to say? I'm talking about us when we were defending because there were loads of people who were on Pogba making out everything was his fault. I don't agree with that. But what I'm saying is, why was we? Why was it a genuine thing for us to say, listen, we know what Pogba's capable of, man. Like, we've seen him ball out. I've seen him at Juventus run through everyone, bare assists, bare goals, wicked, this, that, and the other. But when he came to Man United and he had Pereira and fucking Dan James on that side and McTominay and Fred behind him, we kept saying, nah, man, but just the team around him, it's just not... Is that... But then Bruno has got the same kind of thing and like since then, and it's been consistent with his numbers, but we're not we're not bringing in any form of look at this team. You have got Rashford over there, brain dead, running into the alley, cul de sacs. We've not had a striker. Martial's hardly there. You've got Bozo, Maguire, and Lindelof just behind that. You've got McTominay and Fred. Now Ericsson's legs are gone. Casemiro, we want out. So we're not talking about anything else to do. We're saying Bruno is the chief fucking problem in this team. That is wild. That's crazy.